Hey guys, Mikhail here for another device deal video. Today we're looking at the second generation of the Arlo Essential series, which includes the Arlo Essential 2K camera, Arlo Essential 2K video doorbell, and the indoor Arlo Essential 2K camera. So today we're just gonna briefly go over some of the specifications of these, of these three cameras, uh, what they're gonna be suitable for, and also just go over a bit of the subscription service that you can use with them, and again, what they're gonna be most beneficial for. So first of all, we're gonna take a look at the Arlo Essential 2K regular camera. So that's the one I've got right in front of me here. You can see it's actually got a little bit of a different shape to the predecessor. So this is the second generation, which to be honest, the main difference between the first edition and this edition is really just the fact that one, it does 2K resolution, so the picture quality is better. And then also when it comes to the connection type, I think they used to use a micro USB connection and now it uses a USB-C. So for a bit more information on the camera itself, as I just mentioned before, it does 2K resolution. Uh, for the field of view, it covers 130 degrees. It does also have a spotlight, which allows for you to have night vision as well as color night vision. So you do have the option of whether you want it to be infrared or color. And you've also got two-way audio, so you can hear both the person that's in front of the camera and then they can hear you as well. There's also an integrated siren in this camera which can be triggered either manually or you can choose it to be triggered when there is motion detected. Now you obviously wouldn't want that to go every single time that the camera sees motion so you can set a, a rule where at certain times of night when there's motion detected the camera can detect it, can trigger its own siren. So when it comes to internet connectivity for this camera, you have two options. You can connect this either directly to Wi-Fi using the 2.4 gigahertz band, or you can also connect this to a smart hub. Uh, so the benefit of connecting this to the smart hub would be if you want to have local storage, uh, which can be up to two terabyte. But as far as storage capacities go, I'll mention that a little bit later in the video too. The camera does have a 12 times zoom, which does allow you to take footage and be able to zoom up quite closely. So if you want to see things like maybe number plates or just some further detail, you can zoom in up to 12 times to get that greater detail. So when it comes to battery life with these, which is usually a very big question we get asked about, the battery life Arlo kind of states is getting a roughly about four months worth. Now with that, obviously you have to take that with a grain of salt because when it comes to battery life, it's always gonna be dependent on how much movement the camera gets. So if you're putting a camera in a spot which gets a high amount of traffic and you're getting like 100 notifications a day, you're probably gonna get not the four months that they advertise, it's probably gonna be something a bit shorter than that. So when it comes to charging these cameras, there is a couple options that are there for you. One thing I do wanna mention though, that, that how this camera is a little bit different to the other Pro or Ultra series is that the battery is fixed inside this camera. So you can't actually take the physical battery outside of this camera. But when it comes to charging it, you can either have the, the cable, you can either have a outdoor cable that's eight meters long that runs right to the camera. So you can have it fixed up and still charging at the same time for continuous power and that would use the USB-C connection point which is down the bottom there. Uh, the other way that you can charge it is to use the, ca the cable that's included with this unit and then just bring it down and then charge it that way. And then the third option which is also very popular with us is to use the solar panel which I've just got here. So the solar panel cable is about two and a half meters long itself and then how that works is you've just got the panel itself, which will just link to the, to the camera. And with that, then you'll just give it a trickle charge so that the more sunlight it gets, the more it can kind of keep the camera topped up charge wise. So when it comes to smart home automation, you can actually link this camera to both Google Home and Amazon Alexa, as well as Apple HomeKit. But the only way you can connect this to Apple HomeKit is if you have this connected to a smart hub. So if you're using it direct to Wi-Fi, you won't be able to use that uh, Apple HomeKit compatibility. So next we're gonna take a look at the new second edition of the video doorbell. So this one covers 2K resolution, which is a little bit different from the previous version, which was 
not quite full HD, it was kind of in between full HD and 2K, but this one is a full-fledged 2K resolution. When it comes to the field of view, a nice improvement is that it's got 180 degrees field of view as well. And something that's really cool that I guess Arlo likes to kind of uh, specialize in when it comes to the field of view is compared to most other video doorbells out there, uh, this has got a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So you may find that with a lot of video doorbells already out there in the market, you won't capture the full picture. You might only get uh, the top half of someone and or the chest bit, uh, area, but you won't see the actual floor or when they're putting the actual package down. With this camera, you'll actually get a full picture so you can see both from head to toe, which is really handy. So to talk about battery, what's really handy about this particular video doorbell is that it can be both either wired or run off the battery. Uh, if you're gonna run it off the battery, it's also about four months or so, but of course you gotta take that again with a grain of salt, just like I mentioned earlier, because it'll all depend on the amount of traffic this camera gets. Now, if you're going to wire it, just letting you know, there are two ways that you can kind of wire this. You've either got the USB-C connection at the back there, so if you can get a cable running to that, you can have it charging through that cable there, or you can run it through, um, you could run it through AC power. So for example, if you've got like an existing video doorbell, or sorry, if you've got existing doorbell wiring, uh, as long as that can run between, I think it's uh, eight to 24 volt, then you can actually hook this up to existing wiring that you've already got through AC. So when it comes to internet connectivity, at the moment, this, this video doorbell can only connect to internet via direct Wi-Fi. So if you want to connect it to a smart hub, you're not able to do that at the moment. So that means you can't actually get local storage for this model yet. But what I've noticed with all the models previous to this one is that they always release it with the same kind of uh, communication that you can't connect it to a hub. But then usually after time, I don't know how long, but usually after a little bit of time, not too long, they'll release some kind of firmware update that will allow you to connect this to a smart hub, which then allows you to have local storage or Apple HomeKit compatibility. So this camera does have, or this doorbell does have two-way audio, and on top of that, you've got also some noise reduction and echo cancellation, so it keeps things nice and clear. And on top of that, you've also got a 12 time zoom, so that means that as someone's approaching the camera, you can zoom in to get a better picture, or if someone maybe goes past and it's in the distance, again, you can zoom in just to get some more clarity there. So the final camera we've got here today is the Arlo Indoor Essential camera which again, so this is a 2K, 2K camera, which is consistent with the rest of the new series. Uh, you've also got a 130 degree field of view and the fact that it's wide means that there's no battery you need to rely on. But of course, you just need to ensure that you've got some, uh, you know, some PowerPoint close by that you're able to have this connected to. So as you may see in front of me here, uh, there is actually a privacy screen that goes with this one. So what's really handy with this is that you can either be monitoring when you feel like it, but then you can also uh, activate the privacy screen to make sure that you don't have everything captured that you don't want to have captured. So consistent, like with all the Arlo cameras, this does have night vision and two-way audio. There's no spotlight or anything, so it's not gonna have any color night vision, but you will have your infrared night vision on this one. So some people might be asking, who is this really useful for? So whether it's you or just from our experience, we have a lot of customers that will want an indoor camera and they maybe want to either just kind of check in on the house or maybe monitor the kids at home or particularly maybe uh, animals. So if you've got pets or dogs, or maybe you've got like an elderly parent that you want to check in on and make sure that they're okay because they may be a little bit frail and they might be falling around. So for uses like that, that's where we find that this camera is really popular for. It allows you to just kind of check in whenever you feel like it. You can either be notified when they're moving or you can just use it to just check in when you feel like it just from time to time. And with that two-way audio, it means that you can actually speak with them, just make sure everything's going okay. So just like all the other cameras we've looked at, there is an integrated siren as well. Uh, when it comes to the internet connectivity, this can only be connected to direct Wi-Fi. So you are not able to connect this to um, any smart hub. So all that means is that if you were using this for videos and you wanted to be able to store those videos and view them back at a later date, the only way you'll be able to do that with this is through cloud storage. So you don't have really any local storage capability with this indoor camera. Okay guys, so there you have it. We've, today we've just gone over the new Arlo Essential second generation 
cameras, which includes the regular outdoor and indoor camera. Uh, you've got the video doorbell here and the indoor only camera with the privacy shield. So if you've got any questions, we feel free to give us a yell that you can contact us via email, phone call or live chat. If you've also got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and we can also get back to you there. Uh, if, you've got, if you're looking for any purchases on these, we do really good bundles on the cameras and also sell features like the solar panels as well. And we really hope you enjoyed that guys. So again, if you have any questions, just feel free to give us a yell, like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.